Well, camp set up. Um, mist has rolled in. It's raining a little bit, if you can hear it. Bruce is going a bit nuts, as you just probably heard some goats. They're just about 50 meters that way. And he wants to go and chase them. I might let him later. Uh, but we might get deer coming up through here, stags roaring. They're all around here. We're fairly high up and we're the only people around. And Bruce has gone off to explore. He's probably going to go and look for the goats. So, uh, yeah, I uh, did a quick poll and I said, there's a, a weather storm coming in, rainstorm. What do you want me to, uh, what do you want to bring? And overwhelmingly you said a tent. And not just any tent, but the Hilleberg Staker. This is a beast of a tent. That was brutal carrying this thing up here with all my gear. Um, it's a four season, state of the art tent. It can handle anything. This should be nothing. So tonight we've got, and it's in the middle of the night, we've got very heavy rain. And we've got high gusts. I think the gusts were gusting 80 kilometers an hour. And they're northerly, so they're coming straight from behind us, straight down this hill, uh, which is why I've set it up like this. Now, what I might do is, if the rain starts to swirl, is just bring the tarp down closer to me. Um, just to give me a bit more protection. Obviously, I'm completely dry at the moment. Uh, I'm just putting a coffee on. It's not cold. It's very mild. I'd say it's 17. 16, 17 degrees centigrade. So we're not going to be cold at all. Um, I haven't even got down jacket or anything like that. It's just not going to need it. And in the middle of the night when the wind's really howling, I'm going to be in the tent anyway. Um, and I've got a decent quilt. So I'm going to get this coffee on, chill out a bit, and uh, think about making my lunch soon. That's better. Much lower at the back. Should protect me from the winds coming from behind. A bit lower at the front. A bit more watertight. Such a good boy. Bruce is just going to carry on lying out in the rain. It's so warm for him, and he he just loves the rain. He loves lying out inside, you know, in the rain.
sleeping. So I've been just sitting there enjoying the rain. I'm under the cover, I'm under the tarp, but as you can see, mad Bruce, he's out in the rain, as usual. Doesn't matter, <laughs> nothing I can do about it. And he's off. So he's heard some goats and he's all wired up. So I think it's uh, time for some lunch. It's cooled down a little bit. It's still mild. I mean, look, I mean, just in a shirt. And Bruce is obviously quite hot because he's lying out in the rain to cool down because he's been charging around looking for these goats. So I can't bring him in. He, he won't, there's nothing he'll do. He won't go on the bed. He's, he's, he's set. He's going to play out in the rain now for ages. There are some dry spots under some of the ferns and things like that. When he feels like it, he just goes and hunkers down under there. But he just loves lying out in the rain. So I think it's lunchtime. Um, what I've got for lunch. Got some butter chicken. And some tandoori garlic, garlic tandoori naan bread. So I'll do all this on the trangia. Get it cranking. Come back to you when I've got some steam coming off this.
I think I have to have a tasty beverage with this. What do you think, Bruce? I think I do. Is it too early to drink? Can't be. Renaissance Brewery Hazy IPA. Cheers. That's good. Don't know if you can see that. Chair comes with a beer holder. This is the Trekology chair. So, the temperature has dropped. Obviously it's still really warm for him. Um, I'm gonna put a, another layer on. Maybe, um, I'll just put my rain layer on. Stop the breeze. That's better. mist has really come in. I don't know if you can see that on the camera behind Bruce. Now really in the cloud. It's come right down. I mean, look at him. He just won't come under the cover. He just loves lying in the rain. And it's not the noise, before anyone comments, it's not the noise on the tarp, because it's not that loud at all. He just loves lying in the rain. And this morning at our house, he was lying out in the rain. Where we've got some tussocks, tussock grass just hunkers down in it, it just loves it. And you wipe him with the towel and he's bone dry under, underneath that top coat, he's bone dry. Loves it. Doesn't feel the cold, the rain doesn't bother him at all. And it is warm. I don't have a fleece or anything else on like that, just a shirt and this windproof layer and that's it and the wind has actually just died down. It is, it is starting to rain more, but it is mild. So for him, this is really, really warm.
got to show you what it looks like with the rain pouring off the tarp onto the back of the tent. Butter chicken is done. Now I've got some garlic naan bread to heat up. Why? Why does he have to lie in the rain? It just doesn't care. Loves it. Loves it. Doesn't care. Cheers. So as you saw, the rain coming off the tarp onto the tent. I think that would be a pretty good setup for now. I'm going to have to keep adjusting it as, it as the power cord gets wet. Might have to tighten it, might have to lift this side up just slightly. The tent is obviously 100% waterproof. Um, the storm is going to kick in from that direction, but the tent can take it no problem. And I'm not worried about water coming in underneath. This ground, it soaks it straight up. And it's a bathtub floor. So it's like that. And it's 100% waterproof. Very, very thick. They're curl on thickest material. And I've got it guyed out and staked out for extreme weather. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be that bad. I mean, this is designed for incredibly strong wind and snow load. Um, so I, I'm not expecting it to be anything like that. And if it was going to be that bad, I wouldn't have the tarp up. Because that would just act like a sail. And it would be so loud. It would be crazy. I'd be better off just sitting in the vestibule of the tent. Loads of room in there. I'll give you a little look around later and show you all the gear that I've got. I'm just heating up my uh, naan bread. Oh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. He's had a massive breakfast today. Just because I knew we were going for the walk up here. I wanted to make sure he had a full tummy. So this bird that you can hear that's... <laughs> I think we're in its territory. Um, keeps dive bombing and hanging around and checking us out and checking Bruce out. It's a fantail, a New Zealand fantail, native to New Zealand. They're lovely little birds, very friendly. Um, they'll come right up to you, hold a stick out, they'll land on the stick. They're just feeding on insects and stuff. So when you walk and you dig up the ground and insects come out, they pop up. And they just sing constantly, they're amazing. I don't know if you can pick that up over the noise of the rain. Dude, wait. And here it is. I don't know if you can see him. He might be a little bit too high. He's 
down there by Bruce now. Hot bread. Oh, it smells brilliant. I have my garlic naan, my butter chicken curry, and my IPA under a tarp in the rain with my dog. What a life. Okay, food's ready. Bon appétit. Mm. Oh, it's hot. So those that um, <clears throat> those that watched 
one of my videos, I think it was two or three, three videos ago, it was camping in heavy rain, um, where I was beside a river. That was my first camping trip since coming back from the UK, where I was looking after my, my dad who had terminal cancer. And as I said in that video, <clears throat> We both got COVID while I was there. Um, even though we've been super careful, we got it off the nurses that were coming in caring for my dad. So I had to come back. I'd run out of time. I had to get back. And then my brother went over and uh, looked after my dad. Anyway, my dad uh, passed away three weeks ago just under three weeks ago now. It's a shame that it happened the way it did, that I couldn't be there for him. Um, the whole situation was, yeah, very bad in the end. But anyway, to dad, rest in peace. Right, I'm gonna carry on finishing my food. And I'll come back to you later. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Did a great job, Bruce. You scared the goats away. You herded them. Good job. It's okay. Did a great job. And that is what Bruce does. So Bruce has had his bit of excitement with, um, with the goats. He's still out there chasing other goats. There's loads. They're all over the place. Bruce, where are you? So, had a good lunch. Still got my beer going. Time for a cigar.
Bruce is still chasing them down here. Here he comes. He's going round and round. So an observation about the DD Hammocks 3x3 three three meter top. It leaks. There's no easy way to say this, but I was curious. When I first saw it, compared to the 3FUL top I've got, the seams, the seam tape, is very shoddy. It's, it's all rough, it's, it's not laid on straight. There are threads, so there's a thread right here that's coming through the seam tape. They haven't cut the threads properly. So there's water coming off this thread. And there's another one back here, and there's water coming out of that one as well. That's right in the middle of the tarp. That's just not acceptable. It's poor build quality. And there's another flaw in the design in that the cloth tabs going around the edge, of course, they soak up water and they're angled in and they're all dripping in. And if they don't drip down, they'll carry on down the fabric. And I can see there's water droplets just hanging off the bottom there. So the, the seams just don't look professional. They don't look like they've been professionally done. I cannot recommend the DD Hammocks tarp. This is shoddy workmanship. No two ways about it. Some people will be really, really pleased with their DD Hammocks gear and it's all over the world, it's very famous. But this is just shoddy. This is not professional. There's no care and love and attention gone into this product at all. It's, it's just, it's that'll do, you know? That'll do. And that's what this, this product is, that'll do. The 3FUL 4x3 meter top that I've got is superb, fantastic quality. The seam sealing has been done by machine, not a human, so it's really accurate. Absolute perfect, perfectly glued on. No threads hanging down like these ones here. Um, so, yeah, I'm not happy. You know, these are meant to be the best, the DD hammocks, and I'm, um, no, can't recommend it. Can't recommend their stuff anymore after seeing this. If, if this is what the rest of their gear is like, then no, no. Uh, there's moisture coming through now everywhere here where the seam is giving up. And I'm glad I've got a tent. If I was in a hammock and this was my rain protection, just this over my hammock, I'd be nervous, really nervous. You're going to get dripped on at night. Eventually. I mean, it won't just be leaking like crazy, but you will get dripped on. I can't believe there's a thread coming through the seam tap and that they just left it there. I really can't. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know who owns DD Hammock, who's in charge. But they need to look at their design. They need to look at the people building these, making these things. And they need to have a word with them. There's no accuracy here with the tape. I could have done a much better job. Uh, it looks like a school child has done it. Pathetic, really pathetic. I mean, this one's pooling up the water inside the tape. That's how bad it is. Wow, so disappointed. I just used this tarp on a dry camp. It's fine, it's just a tarp. It was great windproof, it's very heavy, it's very strong. But the fact that all of the cord, all of the corner tabs obviously drip inside is a flaw, but okay, that's, I guess that's what it is. Um, but the fact that they then can make water channel down the inside of the top is just stupid. Again, a flaw. But this, there's no excuse for bad seam sealing. I, I'm sorry to go on about it, but if you were relying on this tarp, and I've got water, there are water drops on the top of my tent, and it's completely covered by the tarp. It's, it's just rubbish. You know, if I wasn't in New Zealand, I would just send this straight back to them in, in, uh, in the UK. As it is, I'm going to complain, but wow, I can't recommend this. No.
don't buy a DD hammock tarp until they've fixed these problems and machine seal the tarps. It's not worth it, not worth the risk. If you get caught out in a major storm, we've got a major storm coming tonight. I'm glad I've got the Hilberg, the Hilleberg tent with me. I mean, this thing is a bunker. And when you look at the seam sealing in this, the stitching in this compared to this, it is a night and day difference, night and day. So, DD hammock tarp, no, don't bother. Waste of money, you'll get wet. Rant over. Here he comes again. Hey, Brucey. Did you find more goats? Oh, you are on fire, aren't you? You're so happy. You're going to shake? Good boy. Such a good boy. What's that down there? Go get him. Where are they? Where are the goats? Go find them. Sniff them out. Good boy. Go on. So while it's light, some light left, I'm going to get my uh, sleeping arrangements sorted out. So I've got my Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm sleeping pad. So I just need to pump that up. Those who've been following know that I got to pump the flex tail gear, EPS pump. This is a, a godsend. Pretty easy. Doesn't take long at all. Nature Hike foam pillow. This thing's lovely. Lots of foam pieces in it. Ah, oh, looking forward to having a decent sleep for a change. I haven't had a good sleep in the pack for ages. I'm tempted to uh, have a lie down now. Just chill out. Listen to the rain. Bruce isn't coming in. He's out there protecting me from goats. Another great little tool. The Ridgeline Hang. I don't know who makes it. Hang time, something like that and you just click this onto a ridge line or a piece of cord or a string like at the top of your tent and then you can hang your phone, clip your phone in, watch a movie, 
whatever you need to do. Awesome bit of kit. It has a locking mechanism in it to stop it from moving as well. It's a great little invention. Don't know who came up with that, but really great little invention. All right, so it's still quite early, but I think I'm gonna just have a lay down, chill out for a bit. The rain is showing, no sign of stopping, which is forecast. <laughs> the worst of it is meant to be tonight at about, um, Actually, at about one o'clock in the morning, midnight, something like that, it is absolutely meant to come down. I'm so glad I've actually got a tent and I'm not under this, just under this tarp. It is leaking. There's drops everywhere now. What an atrocious tarp this DD Hammocks tarp is. But if I was relying on that, I'd have wet patches everywhere now. Um, but yeah, droplets everywhere. Bits of nylon or thread sticking out of the, uh, the seal. Useless. Where's this thing? Thank God I've got this. And you can see, if I flick it, this little droplet of water came off it. That's come from the tarp, under the tarp. So, useless. Bruce is just pacing back and forth now, back and forth, looking for goats. He can't settle. He's running around the back of the tent now. He just can't settle at all. Right, I'm gonna shut it off, I'm gonna have a lie down, maybe watch a movie, come back to you later. Oh, the rain is getting worse. I don't know if you can hear me, it's getting quite strong now. I had to bring him in. He's been out playing the whole time and unless I called him in he wouldn't come in and if I didn't make him go on his bed there's no way he'd go on there. He wants to be out there playing in the rain. But he needs a break, a rest from the rain. I dried him off a bit but <laughs> I'm probably going to have a wet dog in the tent tonight. He might have a snooze now. If I put a hot drink on, he might get some sleep. Just a little rest. He's been chasing goats and oh, all sorts. But this rain is really coming in. But this tarp is leaking. <laughs> There's no two ways about it now. It's leaking. It's just running all the way down the seams. not designed to be used well there's two problems one it's not designed to be used like this it's meant to be over a hammock like that uh, so those ends wouldn't then seep in but the problem is even that the seams all of them are now leaking they've all got puddles in them particularly that back one I don't know if you can make out it's dripping onto the tent. So if you were underneath this, what a nightmare it would be. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm having to shout. I don't know if I need to shout, but the rain is coming down. He seems pretty happy now. I'm going to put a hot drink on. rain pants on. Just an extra layer. 
warm. And I just daren't get these trousers wet. It's not like last time, when I got them absolutely soaked. And that really was a nightmare. These uh, Hunter's Element trousers, phenomenal, really good. 100% waterproof, and they've got a seam. So if you can make that out, it comes all the way up the leg. Waterproof zip, all the way up to the top, with a double-ended zip. So if you want to access the inside or vent the trousers, you can zip down from the outside. Warm air can come out, and you can get access to your, your pockets. Designed for fishermen. Ah, no boots. Stay on your bed. Down, down. Boy, you can go out and play later. Not now. No. See? You can't hit because of the rain on the tent. You can't hear if there are any goats. Desperate, desperate to go out there and play. I'll let him out again in a bit. I have a hot chocolate. Temperatures dropped quite a lot. It would be nice to have a fire. This is a fire ban zone. Absolutely no fires allowed. Very, very dangerous to have a fire here. Even though everything is now wet, this is a pine forest. And it's just banned. Nothing you can do about it. Just not worth the risk. with high winds coming as well.
Got another bear. Voyager IPA. These little can holders are amazing. Okay, I think this one is good to go. Just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. I need to put the other one on. Some of my, uh, what's it called again? Mrs. Rogers Barbecue Rob's Texas style barbecue. Marinade. Get that on there. Chop his up. And put it in with his food, let it cool down a bit. And you can have all the extra juice as well. Now he's going to perk right up when he sees his food. Wait for it, that's got to cool down. No, 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 wait. Let it cool down. Oh, my one smells so good. Just having it pure without any of that stuff on, actually sometimes it's better. But it's also good to have with the spices as well, the barbecue spice. He's 
just going to finish that so quickly. But he's had a lot of food today. Nope, that's it. On your bed, Bruce. Bed. No, it's all gone. Go on, bed. Good boy. Oh. Well. He is going to want to go out and play. Now that he's had his dinner. doing that, it must be. Although that was nice and warm. I could have left that on there. It's quite nice having the heat from there. Oops. No, this is mine. this but I need this Oops. it's the wind howling it's coming right over the top of us As I said, this chair, really handy with that pocket. I actually got it for my wife. Here comes the rain. I'm gonna have to move the camera in. Mm. I think you just heard a goat. I heard something. I'm going to finish this, come back to you afterwards. Bruce, Bruce wants strokes.
So we've got all sorts going on right now. <laughs> Bruce was asleep and he was chilling quite nicely. And then there's a loud banging. Oh, I don't know. 30 meters, 40 meters away from us, just down here. It was a stag. Unfortunately, couldn't see it. It's behind the bush. There's stags all over the place. We're in the roar now. So they're coming out and roaring. We should hear some tonight. Should get quite loud. Bruce, come and settle. Settle. So he's all worked up now. First it was goats. Now it's deer. He's very happy. Gets to play. The rain has really died off. Now it's just misty. Tiny bit of rain. Mainly just the stuff coming off the trees. Just as I said that, it's picking up again now. Go figure. We had a good dinner. Nice chill out session. Watched a bit more of a movie. Bruce had a little snooze. Had him wrapped up in his blanket to try and dry him a bit more. I toweled him off as well. But he just wants to be wet. He likes to come out and get wet and play. Yeah, here comes the rain. Last beer. This one. It's a Renaissance Scotch Ale. It's called the Stone Cutter. It's very strong. Cheers. Obviously with me talking, no deer is going to come anywhere near us now. And me smoking as well. If I'm upwind then. Then they're going to smell me. And the deer, the stag was right down where the smoke's going. They'll be long gone. It's been a really nice evening chilling out with Bruce. Hasn't it, Brucey? Hey, has it been a nice evening? You had some steak. I don't know if you can see him. Had some steak. Had his dog food. Had some strokes. Wagging his tail. He's had to ch got to chase some goats. Bruce? No. It's being all weird now because the light's on. He's chasing shadows. So he's happy. It's a nice open area for him to play in. You can see all around. So he's pretty happy. Once he's in the tent and the tent's done up, his alert alertness level drops. He plummets. He just doesn't care what's going on outside after that. But while he's outside, he's on full alert. He wants to play. He wants to chase. He wants to herd. But yeah, once I close up the tent and we zip it all up, he won't care. Even if he hears something outside, he might stick his head up, but he won't care because there's nothing he can do about it, so he won't care because he knows I won't let him out. We might get a visit by a pig, even, big boar, wild boar. And possums, definitely there'll be possums around tonight. They're everywhere, especially in this area. There are a lot. So that's another reason to leave him in the tent and close it all up. In the distance now, a long way off. I could hear the banging against the tree, the antler. So it's been a great evening. Enjoyed today. It's a nice spot. Shame you can't have a fire, but just not allowed. And I'm not going to break the law, take the risk. Uh, it would have made it nice. Shame about the tarp. What can I say? DD tarps. 
Look at it, it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> it's just so crap, it's unbelievable. A worthless, I wouldn't trust this tarp to go hammocking under. No way. I'll stick with my 3FUL. Tent's nice and cozy, ready for us. It's got all sorts of options to vent it. Oops. And uh, we will be toasty warm in there. I'm going to have to open up the ventilation fully. Even though it's only, what, 12 degrees, 10 degrees centigrade. Uh, this tent is so warm. And with both of us in the tent, yeah, definitely got to uh, vent it. And the vents are at the top, which is perfect. And you can set it to draw air in and go out the top. So I'm going to chill. Last of the light. Tiny bit of light left. Let Bruce have one more play. And then... Uh, probably come back when we're both tucked up, chilling in the tent.
What are you doing? Come here. Come on. Come here. Push. Come on. No, not a stick. That's a big stick, Bruce. No, 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 no. Why couldn't you bring a pine cone? Bruce, where's your stick? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Is that your stick? Is that your stick? Is it your stick or is it my stick? Is it my stick? You can give me your stick. Bruce is so happy. Goats, deer, sticks. Couldn't have taken him on a better trip. All right, we're in the tent now. It got pretty cold out there. It had enough. You can hear it's still raining. Bit breezy cold. In here it is boiling. This tent is so insanely warm. Uh, this is the Steiker, Hilberg Steiker four season tent with a proper four season inner. I've got the mesh doors fully open and I've got the two roof vents fully open as well. Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that will be enough ventilation. It's pretty late, but I'm gonna watch a bit of a movie and hit the sack. If uh, anything happens in the middle of the night, then I'll come back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. He's gonna be too hot under that. He'll kick it off later, but I've got it on him to try and help dry him a bit because um, he's wet and he's zonked he's passed out because he's been chasing things all evening he's had such a great day he'd have stayed out there all night in the rain if if he could but uh, no I called it a night for him alright so yeah unless something happens in the middle of the night I'll see you in the morning
breakfast, don't we? Just have to wait. Hang on, please. Let me put breakfast on. Away. Push that all the way down the hill, Bruce. Morning. That was a loud night. It rained until about 4 a.m. at about 2.30, 2.30, 3 a.m. It was absolutely torrential downpour. so loud and Bruce slipped through the whole thing he had a great sleep he was exhausted from running around earlier chase earlier in the night chasing goats and stuff like that the time now is just gone seven I think it's about almost 7 30 in the morning you can see through the trees that it's it's light out should be getting quite light in here soon I got woken up by a stag roaring just over here uh, there are a few around it might be too bright now for it to to roar again but hopefully if it does then the camera will pick it up but now you can hear the road 
it's a long way away but the sound just travels here because it's so quiet so I recorded some of the rainfall and you just heard that I played it back for you it's pitch black so there was no video oh it was so loud deafening if I didn't have Bruce with me, I would have come out here and recorded what it looked like. <laughs> but I didn't want to disturb Bruce. He was so comfortable. He was fast asleep, curled up in his bed. And then in the middle of the night, he kicked the bed off. And I saw him this morning, he was just lying on top of it. He was so hot. It was very hot in the tent at first. But I have to say, it vented really well. So, top marks for the... Hilberg Steiker on ventilation, it really works. Because it was wet and there's no condensation inside, nothing is damp. My feet were touching the end of the tent and they're not wet either. Just have to stick it out properly. One thing about this Trangia is I switched fuel to a different type of meth. And now it's burning through it a lot quicker. I don't understand that, maybe it's got a higher ethanol content but it's really getting through the fuel quickly and sitting up as well I used a clear one clear meths before diggers that didn't have the same problem so I'm gonna have to switch back to that so the, the type of meths even makes a difference doesn't it Bruce you're off again aren't you looking for stuff wanna plan this morning is just to have some coffee and uh, maybe have some oats not sure yet might bail out of here without any breakfast Bruce has just had his breakfast um, packing up the only thing that's wet is the tent uh, is the tarp um, which is rubbish anyway I'll be consigning this to the uh, fair weather only category I can't believe that it leaked. Shocking. Uh, but still better to have it than not have it. Because I didn't really get wet under it. It's just all the corners and the seams. In an emergency, great. But if this was your only shelter and you were under, under it in a hammock, then yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd get wet. It's not, not a well-built product. So DD hammocks, don't recommend them. I've heard that actually. I've seen videos, a lot of people returning goods. Um, so just be aware of them. See, look at this flame when I take this off. It's wild. And it's burning so much fuel. I don't know what's going on. Whereas with the other meths, it never gets like that. No idea what's happening in there. it's really burned through all the fuel so quickly yeah wonder what that's about right coffee time looks like it's gonna be a lovely morning oh here he comes hey Brucey what did you find did you find some more goats so goats are bleating everywhere and Bruce is going nuts. Bruce, come here. Did you find some goats? Do you want to go and find the goats? Go on, go get the goats. Where are the goats? Go get them. Ready? Go, go, go. Good boy. Where are they? Where are the goats? <laughs> oh, it's actually not that cold. A little bit of a breeze. Can hear a plane. First one for ages. So I'm gonna finish my coffee up uh, and then pack up and head out. It's been fun. It was just a one nighter. Usually I do two nighters, but I could only get away from one night. Um, and I saw this opportunity to come out in a rainstorm and I thought, why not? Um, 
boy did it rain. It, it was not a letdown. It didn't stop raining from the moment I set the tarp up. So, it's a great spot. A shame I'm on a slight hill where I was sleeping because I kept sliding down. But I was more comfy on that therma rest. And I had my uh, conundrum uh, quilt with me in, in light and equipment. Yeah, I had my therma rest uh, Neo Air X Therm. Didn't have a whole lot of other stuff really. Uh, just my waterproofs and um, food and beers, cigars, the important stuff. And my trusty Tranger, which I've got to work out why it's. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me why the flame is going so nuts and it's suddenly burning through the flame, through the fluid so fast. Is it because I've switched the type of methylated spirits? Is it damaged? I don't know. Was it because it dried out? No idea. Um, but something's different, definitely. It's burning through it much quicker. Right, I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to get packed up and uh, see you when the site's clear. Oh. Right, everyone, all packed up. Site's clear. He's a mess. Took a little bit longer because I had to unpack the tent again because I accidentally left my car keys in the tent. I don't know. I'm stupid, what can I say? Um, it's been a great trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. And uh, please remember to like if you like the video and subscribe so you get more uh, of these videos and hit the notifications button so you can know when I'm coming out with a new video. I also post to my community tab a lot uh, on YouTube so if you do subscribe and you get notifications then you'll see those posts and it will tell you where I'm going, when I'm going and it also I put out questions like who wants to see what sort of gear, hammock, tent, tarp, bivy, straight out and sleeping bag, whatever. So let me know what you want to see next. Um, again, thank you for coming along. Bruce says thank you. Bruce, come on. Where are you? Oh my God, you got around there. Come here. Come and say thank you. Here. Here, here, here. Bruce, calm down. Here. There's goats everywhere. Come here. Come here and sit. Show them how good you are. Yes, good boy. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. We uh, had a great trip. And see you again on the next adventure. Good boy. Should we go home?